Speaking of Duhame, though, whew, I I love that player, man. Are we speaking of Duhame? I, I just brought I, I brought his name up there. Okay. Yeah. So. But no, he's he's looked great, and I feel bad saying it because it's not what I want. But this is his last year in Minnesota, right? <laughs> Stop. Like, let's be real. They re-signed Felino. Those, what it's it's the fact that all of them got those deals. There is no he, spot for him. If you, he's gonna want, want a deal like other that. Guys to get in, like, well, I don't think he wants a deal like that. But he's gonna want a longer deal, and he's gonna want it to not be a million dollars, right? No, like, no. there there isn't a spot for him, and it's sad. Like, I I posted his goal and said, like, yo, Penguins fans, like. We want to fix the bottom six next year. Here's a guy to target. I don't know. It's it is sad, but the writing is absolutely on the wall. Like I don't think there's anyone that's more glaring of an option to not be returning than him. Or correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. No, no, you're right, and especially if like he continues on this trajectory, if he actually, but if he has a good season, the Wild cannot afford him. So it's like. It's it's a blessing and or it's it's a blessing and a curse right now. Well, but it's not even a matter of affording him. Like, can you non financially, but can you actually afford roster space wise to keep him? It just, I mean, I think I I think they, they, there's there's room for him in the bottom six. So you're literally going to have the exact same team next year. Hey, if he if again. It, Assuming, say, they had the money to keep him, like they'd probably bring him back there in the same role. If he had success there this year, why wouldn't they? You know, again, assuming they could financially do it. Because there's no spots left. Like, then you are literally boxing out any prospects. There's no chance. And in what prospects have they been endorsing and excited to come up, you know, next year, right? Well, next year, are you joking? That's when we're supposed to have Yurov, Huznadinov, and Ugrin coming over. So, and yeah, then, I think that they would anticipate that a spot could potentially open up for one of them as the season goes. Beckman, if there's any shot in hell that yeah, he's not he's playing, he's, that has to be uh, this year. I think year. He, I, I think he's. I don't think he's ever playing with the Minnesota Wild, dude. Which is stupid. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's interesting. Again, like this, this is such a Isha. Do we have faith that Shaw's gonna work his way back in? Oh, I don't. At, at this point, again, if this season of Duhem continues to play the way he's doing, do it like no, there's no room. That's not okay. We can move on. You mean next season? Yes. Well, then probably not. Again, probably not either. So like you don't think there's a world again that they they bring him back at all. I am super skeptical that it could be a thing. Yes. Cuz again, okay. we just talked about Shaw. If he rehabs and plays well, he's going to take a cheaper fucking deal. And he is going to fill what you need on a fourth line role. Are you going to give Duhame a chance to play on the third line? Not the way it's looking right now. I think Duhame right. leaves because Duhame doesn't want to be pigeoned on the fourth line. Right. Period. And like, and I don't probably, think Wild want to do that either. So and they probably and they probably don't trade him this year because if they're he he could be a good playoff asset once they you know they make it there and actually help them. Totally no, and yeah. make no mistake, if it turns out the Wild are not going to make the playoffs, that's a guy that you got to move because there's value there. Unless yeah. unless you are going to keep him, right? Like it's just this the fucking contract signings. Exactly. It's it was it's like it was a it was a big catalyst to like how. The next year and two are going to shake up. Yes, no, it it has basically locked in how that's going to go. Which is so funny because like before it all happened, we had an episode where we were like, we can only keep one, <laughs> and this is why, or two max, and then they ended up keeping three, and it's like, oh for fuck's sakes. Yep, and again, in isolation, I understand all three deals. It's just the fact that all three happened seems. A little misguided, but yeah. until I see glaring proof that Bill Guerin's fucked up, I'm going to choose to believe for the time being. Yeah, it's just it's frustrating. But again, we small sample size. We'll see. 
you know, we, we all could be singing his praises if they get past the first round and go on a run. And it's like, okay, this, this is the core we needed. And so we'll see.